What's going on everybody? Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 Minifigure Update Part 2. So yeah, um, the other day, I think it was yesterday actually, I made a, if it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, but I made a video pretty much updating to minifigures. Um, but since then, um, today I went and did some shopping for my birthday and I was able to get seven minifigures that are going to go toward, well, six minifigures that are going to go towards Red Dead. One minifigure that's going to go towards Fallen Order. But nonetheless, these are all minifigures that I got for custom purposes. And, I, and I'm really thankful there's a store that is near me. And they sell so many different minifigures. They have an entire wall full of retired minifigures, current minifigures. You know, it's just, it's really cool. And the good thing is they're all very cheap and affordable. And, you know, you're able to get them all in one go. I mean, half these minifigures that I got, I had been looking... At, on eBay and they were like three times more expensive on eBay um, but I was able to get them all at once and you don't have to pay shipping so yeah I'm very thankful for that but let's just go ahead and start with the first minifigure I got that was not for Red Dead purposes and that is this new Disney CMF stitch so I this is actually the last one I was able to get it um, so I was very thankful about that and I got him for my custom, or to upgrade my custom Grease Drydus from Fallen Order. Um, I have him here, but he's all kind of deassembled for this reason. Um, but Grease has four arms, and he wears red in Fallen Order. And this Stitch minifigure has four red arms, so this is really perfect. Um, and yeah, I actually. Went, went to Walmart recently and they had the new D Disney CMF wave and I knew that I was kind of after this Stitch minifigure because of Grease um, but it, I couldn't I couldn't feel for Stitch I couldn't find one that felt like it had, had Stitch in it so I ended up getting one and I got Corella DeVille um, which you know it's fine because I ended up using it for Tilly Jackson back there. But yeah, so there we go. Um, I'm going to have to change out the hands now because Grease does not have blue hands. Oh man, he's, you know what? I'm going to take the hands out separate. Ooh, that did not want to come out there. But yeah, interesting piece. Very interesting piece. Um, yeah, so I could acetone these decals off on the side. I don't know if I'm going to do it. I might just leave it because it's really not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, apparently like the only other, or, or like um, every other minifigure that has these double, um, or these two uh, forearms are quite expensive. Um, so yeah, oh, this is going to make it look so much better. Alright, so there we go, the forearms, and then let's give him his legs. So Grease is a very hard minifigure to make, I think everybody kind of knows this. Everybody does them differently. This is my Fallen Order one. Um, my Survivor Grease looks a lot different, it, it I mean, it uses a completely different face, it's actually like a molded face. But this is not bad, and hey, he now has double arms. Which is pretty neat. You know, I might actually acetone this off. Who knows? But there it is. Grease Dritus with the double arms. So, yep. And then, yeah. I mean, I can just use the rest of this minifigure for custom purposes. So let's move this all over here. Ooh! A hand just rolled off. Was that a hand? Oh no, that was a clear piece. Alright, I'll, I'll have to find out later. Anyways, so that's that. Now time for these Red Dead customs. So, let's start with Karen. So, obviously, ooh, toppled. <laughs> if you guys have watched my Red Dead videos, which has been pretty much all the content I've made in the last probably week or so, um, you know that this is not the entire game. I was not able to make Mary Beth or Karen Jones simply because I did not have the parts to but after going to the store here, I now do. So the first minifigure we have here is Calamity Drone from the Lego Movie. Um, I looked on, I looked for her on eBay, and she was like thirty-five dollars on eBay. I was like, nope, not paying that much. 
come here, they have her for 11. Which is so cool. This is a very neat minifigure. Very, very neat. So, this hair and hat combo, perfect for Karen. She's not a robot, so we're going to be taking this robot head off. And we're going to be taking this, or these arms off the torso. Because she does not have silver arms. Um, and then what we're going to do is take this minifigure. Um, who is this? Some Flor Delacour? I don't know. But she's some girl from here. How we pull off? And so... Yeah, I got her for the face and uh, I was going to say the arm. Well, technically the arms and part of the dress. She's a cheap Harry Potter minifigure. One thing I've noticed or learned from going to the store is Harry Potter figures are very cheap. Um, not in quality. They're just, they're just not very expensive figures. So anyways, I have these arms to match um, the dress here that we're just going to snap on like so. And then we're going to put the dress back on there. So now this looks more like a human could wear it. And then we're going to take this head. By the way, this outfit is based off of whenever you guys do the, or whenever you do the bank robbery in Valentine. And then the hair. Oh, that's, that's really nice. And I got to give her hands. Um, we will take these hands here. And give it to Karen Jones. So yeah, now we have Karen Jones. This actually really turned out quite nice. So there's Karen. Ooh, I'm just making them topple today. Let's try to put these guys up. Okay, so we're gonna put this stuff to the side here. Um, let's try to make Mary Beth next. So, the other minifigure that I did not have, or a uh, character I did not have in the gang, was Mary Beth. Um, she's just like another, you know, female that kind of just, you know, she doesn't play a huge role in the gang, but she was always nice to Arthur. So I got this $4 Hermione Granger figure, and she works well for the face. Um, so what I was going to do was, I have this torso already. I just not want to focus. I have this tor torso already, which kind of matches um, Mary Beth's look a little bit. Um, and I was just gonna give her these, this dress here. Um, should I use that face or this face? I don't know. This is a strange hair piece. Oops, never had a hair piece like this. It's very large, very large hair piece. Um, and then let's, okay, so I'm gonna take the hands off of this, because I don't really need this torso or legs, I'll probably find something to do with it, but at the moment I did not need it, and then we're gonna put hands back on this, take the arms off. And then I'm going to put it on Mary Beth here. Ooh. That was a snap. Okay. Focus? Alright. So, that is that. And now comes the time for her hair. There's many different options. Um, I don't really have... Well... I do have a hair that would somewhat work, but it's for CMF and I don't feel like moving it. So we could try this, which does not look all that bad. Or we could try this. Hmm. I think I think I like this one better. Just because she doesn't she never really has a strand of hair on the back and she kinda has more of a middle part. So why is that arm loose? This torso's not cracked, is it? Let me just check real quick. Nope, she's loose, okay. Well, yeah, so there is Mary Beth. So now I can officially say that we have all the gang members here. So that's very nice. Um, okay, so let's open up this guy. So this guy is another Hewipua minifigure. 
Uh, and he's actually going to help us with two minifigures here. So, Argus Filch, that's his name. So yeah, like an eight buck minifigure and he seems pretty cool, so I'm unhappy about it. Um, but anyways, I have seen somebody use this head and hair, or it's like a head and hair combo kind of, for Pearson, which Pearson is right here. He's the chef of the game. And um, technically, this would be perfect if the hair was brown. But I do think it's better than what I have been using because Pearson's kind of known for being bald on the top of his head. So that is that. That looks pretty good. And then the other thing I was going to use this minifigure for was this torso here. I was in desperate, desperate need of a gray sort of jacket with a vest torso and I did not have one and I needed it for our boy, our boy here, uh, Sean. So this is actually going to be perfect. This is exactly what I needed for Sean. Oh yeah, that looks great. Really, really good. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, so there's Sean, Sean McGuire there, and Pearson. And then, yeah, so now I just have sort of extra parts here. And then we got this dude in the Lone Ranger. He is Dan Reed. Um, he was pretty cheap. I think he was like uh, $9 or something with, with no shipping. And I had seen him on eBay before and he was a lot more than $9 on eBay. So it's just nice. But, um, so this is like the, I don't know if this is older style hat or just a smaller hat, but either way, I am going to be giving it to uncle. Actually, wait, I'm going to see what this head looks like with uncle rather than this one. Um, should I do that? Oh, that's good. See, I, I, I like that better for Uncle there. So there's our Uncle upgrade. And then I was actually going to give this face to Pearson. I just think it is a little bit more realistic with the stubble and stuff. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And then this torso and legs, I was recommending to use it for Lenny because Lenny does have like a whole gray jacket situation. So we're going to see what it looks like here. Let's switch out the hands. Oh, yeah, I do like how this looks. There. Lenny. I like how that looks. Yeah, that kind of looks, I don't know, just, just more detailed and, and cool. So I think we're going to stick with that for Lenny. How did I have him holding his gun? I don't know. It's probably like this. So there's that. Also, he came with a nice weapon there. So I'll give that to somebody. And then the last minifigure we got here is this guy, which I've really been wanting this figure. His name's Frank, and they had him, lo and behold, so very happy about this guy. And so we are going to be upgrading two of my favorite fi characters of all time. So first of off, I'm going to be upgrading Mr. Jim Milton, John Marston here. Um, so I was using Cad Bane's torso for him for a bit, um, not anymore, because it's going back to Cad Bane, um, because this torso just works better, and I don't know if I should keep the legs, L let me see what this looks like with these legs. Ooh. Now you know what, I'm keeping these chapped legs, or he wearing chaps yeah I like how that looks better so we'll give that to John Marston there oh that looks really really good we'll give him his revolver so then Cad Bane can get his torso back 
very nice. And then this, where do you go? This head I thought would work pretty well for John. I mean, no, not John. Arthur. Because currently Arthur is using Indiana Jones head. Um, and it's not bad, don't get me wrong. It's definitely not bad. But I just feel like this is more... It just has that more, like, rugged Arthur look. Yeah, I like it. I think it's neat. And then this can kind of go towards, I don't know, somebody else. But yeah, because cause John or Arthur kind of more has a beard most of the time. So yeah. But anyways, that pretty much concludes this full-on <laughs> full upgrade. I kind of made a mess here. But I'm just really thankful for all these minifigs um, because I was truly able to really, really upgrade these um, figures. So let's just, I'm going to pull out more, pull out front and just show the minifigures that were upgraded through this. So we got him, Karen was created, Pearson, Uncle... Arthur and Mary Beth. So yeah, we got John, Lenny. That that um upgrade to Sean was perfect. Karen Jones looking pretty good. Arthur and uh, or not not Arthur um Pearson and Uncle. Arthur and Mary Beth. And yeah, and then uh, Grease. So yeah, very, very nice. Very happy with how these turned out. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to hit like. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.